Hey guys, Carmel here, and today I'll be teaching you, or at least showing you, how to use Rose Garden. Now, for those who don't know what Rose Garden is, what it is, it, it allows you to make music, uh, it allows you to add percussion beats and uh, just general MIDI beats, so, uh, like piano sounds and stuff. But, um,. One thing that's cool about this is that you can actually plug instruments into this. Pl plug instruments into your computer and then you can play them and then it could show up on here. But the problem is that this is an extremely outdated software. It's like from 1990s. So, But it's still great to use. I made all my music on this. So it's very good. Don't, do not underestimate this program because it's very good. Anyway. Um, to get a simple, like, um, tune going, what we're going to do is that we're going to click on the pencil here. Make sure you have the pencil. If you don't have the pencil, you're not going to be able to make this. And we're just going to drag it, I don't know, across three beats, and that should say acoustic round piano. No, I'm just going to open the, it's, double click on it, and then this should open up. Make sure you have it on pencil again, and then just do... Like, as you can see, you can use these undo and redo notes in case you're doing an error, or in case you don't want to do it at all, click erase. And then, if you want to listen to what you've done, you're going to click this, and then you're going to click play. It sounds pretty good. So I'm going to exit here, but as you can see, you've got a lot of blank space here, and nobody likes the blank space. So what we're going to do is that we're going to either hit F6 or click Resize, and I'm just going to drag it to our desired amount. So, that sounds good, but what if I don't want a piano? What if I don't want a piano to do this? Um, if you don't want a piano, then you are going to click this. Yeah, click where it says acoustic grand piano, and voila. There's so many different instruments. It literally takes over the screen. Anyway, uh, you can just scroll down. There's like, there's 128 instruments, so it's very hard to get bored. Anyway, um, I think we should go with a um, violin. Um, and as you can see, it's still called Acoustic Brown Piano. I, I don't really care about that, but if, if your OCD gets to you, just click Edit and then just type in Violin. Violin. Well, it should say Violin. If you're not happy with the color, click Default. And then, oh my god, it's an explosion of colors. Um, what you're going to do is that just click the one you want. I'm going to go with a brown or a sienna why not anyway um as you can see this is boring it's relatively short you're not gonna get a hit um song on the radio if it's going to be that short so what we're going to do is that we're going to select it make sure you have it selected and we either, and we're going to click edit and click copy and then edit and click paste. Now as you can see it is pasted but it might not be in the area you want it to go in so just make sure you have it selected and drag it, simply drag it there and then click that and listen to what you've done. It sounds pretty good. I mean, after all, if you're not happy with the length of it, just trim it. But, um, I'm happy with... <coughs> uh, sorry. I'm happy with this beat, so I'm going to select both of them, and I'm going to click Join, or Control and J. Depends how posh you are, but... Now it's all one part, so we're going to do that. And, as you can see, it's not split anymore, so it's as one piece. 
No, I was, I was thinking, how about we have a um, percussion to this? Because let's just say all songs need a beat. But um, I'm going to rename this violin so don't get confused. I mean, I always do this so I don't get confused between my tracks. Anyway, um, this will be called Drum. You don't have to have it in the third one, it's not specific. I mean, it's not like placeholders or anything. But um, anyway, um, as you can see, there are no beats, or at least no drum beats. I mean, there is like. There's a wood block on here somewhere, like, but that's not, that's not really a beat, nor steel drums, that's more of an instrument. So we're going to click, oh yes, there's a box saying percussion on it, why don't we press it? And look, we have uh, standard drum kits, room drum kits, a lot of room drum kits, powers, electronic drum kits, TR-808, don't think it makes a difference. Uh, you got jazz and brush and orchestra, but um, I'm going to go with um, how about standard, because everyone likes standard. Anyway, um, that's going to be our drum, and we're going to drag that across, and um, yeah, we need to take a listen first so we can just refresh our minds on what the song sounds like. pretty good, but we do need a beat, or at least something to back it up, so we're going to seriously have to find a beat by doing this. This is not like notes or anything, because this is just random. What the hell? I'm just going to find a reasonable beat. So let's see if it's in time. Remember what I said before, you can always erase it, so... See how this sounds. And of course that's just a loop, so do what we did before. Oh, what? Okay. Um let's copy this. Copy. Paste. And we're going to do this. good I, I have to say anyway let's join the tracks together and we're just going to rename that drum because it has to be called drum it says your OCD um, drum anyway it seems reasonable I don't mind this but I think we should have a backup instrument because you know, one violin and one drum is not going to make a full song. Like, as I'm saying, you could at least have another instrument, such as the instrument. Well, you know, that's just stupidest thing I've ever said. Anyway, um, mind my stupid knowledge. We are going to find a new instrument, and what that instrument is doesn't matter. As I said, it's not placeholders. But um. How about a bird tweet? I mean, I've never had a bird tweet. I've never. My song is wrong. I've never um, used the bird tweet instrument before. So it should be alright. Let's try. I'm not sure if that's a bird tweet. 
This is how sci-fi horror films are made, guys. Okay. <laughs> oh, that should do it. I'm going to do the bird tweet to Aquamarine because Aquamarine is a nice color. <clears throat> I know, that's already called bird tweet. Uh, I'm going to cut that like we always did. And we're going to listen. That actually sounds pretty good. I I'm going to have to say. <clears throat> As I'm saying, if you want to write a whole song, it can't be just like five, like five and a half beats because that's stupid. But that's good going. That's good going for the beginning of a song. I have to say. But um, I don't think there's anything else. I'll probably do another tutorial, like let's say uh, on these things. But to be fair, I've not really got used to them myself, so I've got to learn. I got to learn. I've only been using this for six months. But anyway, um. Uh, but we're not leaving that. Oh no. You may be thinking, how do I export this as a MIDI file? Or at least save it. So, just file save. In this instance, is save as. But you don't have to save it in projects. As I'm saying, it's saving way you downloaded it. So, um, I'm going to go into documents and a uh, new folder. Uh. Rose, not roast, not roast garden. What? Rose garden. Pretty nice. Not roga. You know what? Mine my awful spelling. Anyway, going here. It's called um meadow. Why not? It's it's mellow. I have to say. Anyway, um, <laughs> you may be thinking, how the hell do I actually? export it. I just asked the question but I didn't answer it. So I'm going to answer it for you now. You go to File, Export. Now, it depends how beefy your computer is. It depends how many um, file types your computer has. Well, I don't know what MUP file is. I don't know what a Rose Garden project file is. Well, LMA or cringe. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go with MIDI file because MIDI file you can play a MIDI file. I mean, if you, if your computer cannot play a MIDI file, it's obviously not been refurbished since 1988. How do I know that? Because it's science or computing even. Anyway, um, I'm going to export this to my desk desktop and call it Meadow. I'm going to click save and it should be saving. Just wait like five or ten seconds, just so you make sure. It's Anyway, I'm going to join my desktop and Meadow. Let's listen. It's beautiful. We did it. We made our song about failing. Anyway, if you enjoyed this tutorial, if you think you can use this tutorial and teach it to your friends, Please do, but please mention me in the credits because you know what, uh, all commotion goes to me now, apparently. Anyway, um, I was only joking about that, by the way. Um, so, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!